With Avengers Endgame still very much in the dark to everybody, including most of the actors, let's talk about the latest, uh, I guess, sort of backwards confirmation by the Russo brothers of its runtime and what that'll mean. So naturally, films have to be a certain length if you want to play favorites. Uh, you know, certainly if you go over two and a half hours, you can have like four screenings during the day. If you're pushing three hours, you're looking at three per screen, which will obviously impact your bottom dollar because there's a certain amount of time, certain amount of play, and certain amount you need between to be able to clean up the theater. Usually they give it 30 to 45 minutes. So pushing the most recent three hour mark as the Russo brothers have teased would mean that Avengers Endgame would be the longest in the line of the MCU movies, also the longest comic book movie ever, if you will, and pushing, you know, really against what's common with these movies. Now, at the same time, them teasing this, I would say is really no surprise, you know, Infinity War pushed the time far, right? Um, we've seen other superhero movies like Aquaman recently pushing two hours and 20-ish minutes, you are like, Okay, Aquaman, sure, you know, but they put a lot in the movie and it probably played out well that they gave it a longer runtime. So all things considered, them teasing and saying it's most likely going to be at the three hour mark, you have to consider everything that has to be explained in it. You have to build up Captain Marvel because some people aren't going to see Captain Marvel, right? So there's the crossover like any other movie. You have to explain who Scott Lang is because clearly not everybody that saw Infinity War or anything else went and saw Ant-Man or Ant-Man and the Wasp because the money then, you know, levels out. So then you have to explain what the quantum realm is. You have to explain where all the dead people are. You have to come in and explain what the future of the franchise is. You have to write off a few characters that we know don't necessarily want to stick around because they're not doing any more movies. Uh, so in the long run, when you consider three hour runtime and like 15 hanging loose threads, plus new characters, plus establishing the future of the franchise, plus probably by the Santa introducing Eternals and the concept of the Eternals, you're looking at a rather lengthy movie. Now, seeing how Infinity War is so long, but it doesn't feel like it because the Russo brothers are genuinely geniuses when it comes to editing and pacing, you could probably understand that they want to, you know, allow the movie to be as long as it is. Because once again, Disney was afraid to let Age of Ultron be as long as it needed to be, which was rumored at around two hours and 45-ish minutes they forced Joss to cut out about 25 minutes. The film suffered, clearly. You know, there's a lot of stuff in there, like Thor's vision, other side things that were cut out, and Joss was forced to only keep the home stuff in with Hawkeye, which will undoubtedly pay off in Endgame, but they don't want that again. Because imagine the big celebration of 11 years of the biggest franchise in history suffering because you forced the directors to cut it to two hours or something, right? Uh, that would financially be a disaster for them because it would come back to them and that would just hurt them. So three hours is probably going to happen, but you never know. Maybe a little bit less because obviously there's going to be like 15 minutes worth of credits with this movie, so who really knows.